Clothes worn on trail. Columbia. Omni shade lightweight shirt. Super thin, super light, super comfortable. Uh, Nike Strider shorts. Had two pair of darn tough. Uh, both pairs are destroyed. <laughs> wore through the bottom. Uh, wore through most of the toes. But I traded in for a new pair of CDT ones in Silver City. Hell yeah. All in all, the shirt held up very well. Except where the <laughs> backpack rubs. Uh, and it's more from me pulling my shirt down when it rides up on your back. Uh, ended up ripping it a million times. So, Got tape on the inside and tape on the outside. Yep, as you know, darn tough, guaranteed for life. Strider shorts did all right. Uh, I caught them on a uh, tree branch and it ripped the inseam all the way up to my waist. So they're taped on the inside and outside. Uh, ripped a hole in the butt. I don't know when. That's uh, been taped and I just taped it again. Uh, these, are my <laughs> these, are, these are what I'm wearing home. So that shirt is probably going in the trash. Insulating layers, warm layers. Got the Kuyu Peloton 97 hoodie. And got a Senshi design. Senshi. Uh, I think it's a 60 weight. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Rain gear. Frog togs. UL2 rain jacket. And Z packs, rain pants. Probably the product I'm most happy with on this whole journey. Uh, yeah, I used to wear the frog togs, but of course they rip every time you snag on something. Uh, these pants held up great. Uh, they kept me warm, they kept me dry. Not enough thumbs for the product. Frog tog UL2 rain jacket. <clears throat> As you know, they are fragile, <laughs> and uh, yeah, many, many rips, many pieces of duct tape inside and outside. Uh, the waterproof layer delaminated from the inner layer, uh, but yeah, I could almost get away with still wearing it. Yeah, next time though, uh, yeah, I'll go back to my uh, yellow, uh, the bright jacket. Uh, better for hunting season. And we got a Amazon beanie fleece and gas station nine ninety nine gloves uh, fleece inner lining fleece. The only problem with these gloves is if your hands are wet, the inner lining it rips uh, it rips out of them. So uh, yeah, watch yourself putting your hands in and out when they're wet. Gloves were perfect. Kept my hands warm uh, in the mornings. Hat, I really, I could have got away without bringing that on this trip. And the product that got me all the way to the finish line. Hoka Challengers. These are the sevens. Uh, this pair has 1,100 miles on them. Hold. We are all the way through to my foot on that one and this one was getting very close uh, otherwise I'd say they made it one little baby rip right there I could hike another couple miles in these yeah this was my uh, I had two pairs of the Challenger 6's uh, each one of those went 800 plus miles <laughs>